everyone. Kame from New York here. Today's class number 389 is all about the video camera called DJI Osmo Pocket. It's about five years old and I'm going to show you now the rig I'm using right now to film this episode. Currently filming in the shade with the DJI Osmo Pocket. Uh, it's like I said, it's five years old, and the rig uh, has a few gadgets that I put on. Uh, I'll show you the photograph again of what the rig looks like. So, as you can see from the top, it has the Komika shotgun mic with a dead cat. It has three clamps, three adjustable tripod clamps to give the uh, shotgun mic height. Because as you can see, if I go too far this way, the shotgun mic actually might get into the frame. Okay, so I had to give it some height so it wouldn't be in the frame all the time. Uh, I'm trying to just get the face tracking uh, to work. Okay, so on top of the three adjustable tripod brackets, uh, but it's, it's tripod brackets slash uh, cold shoe brackets. That might even be a better word. I had to pay for all this stuff. <laughs> There's no sponsor for this one. Uh, next below that is the Movo DJI Pocket clamp that holds the DJI Pocket and a cell phone if you want. But I'm not using a cell phone as a monitor. I'm using the actual small one inch monitor. Um, then the cable I have from the Komika microphone, shotgun mic, you have to go from TRRS jack to TRS jack. Like that. The 3.5 mil millimeter jack that has three rings and then you have to go to two rings. Okay, so I have that going into the DJI uh, audio jack adapter all right so there's quite a few pieces here and the whole thing is being held together uh, in my hand with the Ulanzi it's a selfie stick with a small tripod foot Now, I came down to the beach area, actually the harbor, where I couldn't, wanted to look for the windiest place to see how the dead cat would react on the, uh, on the microphone, keep the wind noise out. All right, so now let's walk into the sun and see uh, if the, ex the automatic exposure can uh, keep up with the uh, bright sun today. All right, hopefully, Hopefully uh, the exposure is good. It looks good in the monitor. All right, uh, let's see. Let's see how this looks. All right, now what I like about the DJI Osmo Pocket is when you um, put on the wheel adapter. I'll show you a picture of that now. Press one button and the camera will flip to show uh, what's in front of me. Use the wheel and there you go to do a, uh, a pan. There you go. 
All right, so the DJ, while it is uh, five years old, they can they can still be had for a hundred bucks uh, in working condition with the built-in battery. It does have two built-in mics, but those microphones are uh, in weird places. They're on one's on the bottom and one is facing you, and they're very small. And in fact, they're too small to put a dead cat on them for wind noise. And like David Saylor says, if you don't have good audio, you don't have nothing. Uh, so let's just see. We'll just walk a little bit more. Now, now the sun's behind me. All right, so we'll just see. Turn this way. I'm just checking for you guys to show you the exposure, how the exposure works. If it works well or, or not at all. Plus the focusing. All right, so now we'll walk. Don't forget the DJI Osmo Pocket has a built-in gimbal. So the uh, walking up and down movement should be at a minimum. All right, now we're gonna go into some shade. Let's see if the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket can keep up with the exposure levels. Now it's, the wind's picking up. Hopefully uh, the dead cat's doing its job and it's not getting uh, too much wind noise. All right, so we're walking along and uh, like I said, it's pretty lightweight. Everything is lightweight. Uh, try to use as many plastic parts as possible. All right. All right, guys. So that's been today's class number 389. It's all about the digital video camera, DJI Pocket Osmo. It's the number one, it's the classic. Uh, like I said, you can pick them up used for a hundred bucks.